Hi, and welcome to my 18 month update into uh, having solar panels in Melbourne, Australia. If you haven't watched my previous videos, uh, feel free to click the links in the description um, about uh, what uh, kind of setup I have and how I went in uh, my first year. So now I am uh, 18 months in and today is a very hot day, uh, so you will see um, that there's quite a lot of sun input. Also, I'm using um, 1.67 kilowatts or, or somewhere around there because I've got my aircon on. Um, I have the smart meter going and so I know exactly um, what's happening with my setup. As you can see, today had a really nice bell curve. Um, so what that uh, indicates is there was not much sun cover. Otherwise, it'd be spiky in the green. Uh, my usage was spiky because I was in and out of uh, the house and obvious, um, and uh, that, um, that just led to different spikes. If I turn to the month, uh, you can see that um, there's quite a lot of um, good days that were over 40 kilowatt hours per day, um, but averaging around that 30 mark, uh, give or take. So December has been a very hot uh, month for us in Melbourne and January is going to probably be hotter. If I compare uh, this December um, versus last December, uh, you'll see that I've already reached um, the uh, amount of kilowatt hours that I had generated last year um, and so uh, it's uh, I guess improving this year which is great it's probably uh, weather related so I don't really know um, if that's uh, got anything to do with um, uh, whether my, my panels are performing uh, at the same rate or they've deteriorated but I would guess that you know over time uh, we should see some degradation but right now uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. As you look at this um, kind of reverse bell curve um, you can immediately see that there's not much sun during those winter months so um, as it gets towards June um, yeah you you get less and less of the green and my usage kind of stays the same you can see my usage in the gray uh, picks up um, largely because of that aircon usage um, during the winter months we have uh, gas heating so um, while it still uses uh, electricity to push the gas around the house, um, yeah, we're definitely not using it as much as um, the, the hotter months. So here I actually track um, my monthly spend. Um, for uh, for my electricity as well as I track you know how much direct consumption I have as well as um, uh, what the retailer gives me back so I know how much I'm saving in total um, obviously um, the uh, the combination of what the retailer is giving me plus my direct consumption is my total savings um, the system calculated one is just for me to know whether um, I'm uh, on par or not and if this is really difficult because the retailer um, does not calculate um, the first of the month to the end of the month it's in between so I just um, like tracking the system calculated um, uh, uh, bits for my for my benefit but I uh, but it doesn't really mean too much so as you can see um, for the last 18 months, my total has been $1,870. Now that, um, so 18 months for, um, so that's about $100 a month. So really in my payback period, if I continue this trend, I should have um, all of my money within uh, 63 to 65 months uh, because I paid $6,300 and uh, if it's $100 a month then uh, that's within five years. I think that's pretty good. I didn't get any um, rebates from the government because at that time they weren't offering anything. Um, so I'm really happy with um, the current uh, trajectory. Last but not least, um, I just wanted to show you my bill um, so that you understand or at least um, appreciate um, uh, the, the importance of um, choosing the right retailer. So um, as you can see, um, 
my usage is uh, in this graph is that uh, I've used a lot more in the June July periods um, obviously because I didn't generate as much and so I had to use more um, and then yeah, during the the other peak um, kind of summer months I, I've kind of come down um, my balance uh, over the last few months has been negative so the balance got brought forward and then this bill I made a massive um, hundred dollar um, credit so really now they owe me total amount owed is negative two hundred and fourteen dollars uh, and that's a great feeling as you can see here uh, here were my uh, usage details I used 97 kilowatt hours from the grid um, meanwhile I was able to then um, use some of uh, the uh, the solar generated directly which obviously doesn't show here and then whatever excess I had I fed back in um, the rate that I have um, with um, Amazim um, is that uh, they charge me 28.8 cents uh, for usage and uh, 20 cents uh, as I feed in now this is uh, really important um, if you have a, um, a retailer that is um, giving you say the standard 11 cents or 13 cents um, yeah, yeah and and they even charge you lower rates um, say 17 cents a, uh, a kilowatt hour you really need to do your maths and work out whether you actually are better off um, uh, going with uh, someone like Amazim who generates um, who actually you know gives you a higher rate like 20 cents per kilowatt hour for every feed in uh, kilowatt hours um, but also charges you a bit higher now for me uh, in my circumstance um, Amazim works and I've done my maths and uh, uh, I I know that um, I'm gonna be better off uh, with Amazim and I, I, I um, as I said I track my bills so I know last year when I used roughly the same kind of usage and fed in the same type of um, uh, solar energy uh, my bill was um, more expensive than this year um, so um, I um, so so you, you need to um, if, you, if you have any questions about that um, feel free to comment um, I'm happy to help out and help you with calculations but you yeah, you really need to just look at how much do I feed in each month um, and um, you know how much do I use um, outside of uh, your direct consumption with solar so that's it um, you know um, if you like the video um, give, us, give us a thumbs up if you want to subscribe and continue to track um, the the solar uh, payback period or anything else um, feel free to, um, to subscribe I'm also um, more and more into uh, this kind of zero waste and um, yeah I guess being uh, more conscious of uh, my, my carbon footprint um, and so um, I've got some other videos up on, um, on my YouTube around setting up a chicken coop and I'm sure there's other videos to come well thanks for uh, tuning in and I'll catch you in the next video